So long. So long. We'll bring it out, man. On a Monday. All praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Bashim, and Kakadush. Double honors to my apostles and elders, great millstone, who rule well, teach well, being a great example to his brothers. And peace and salutations to the hopeful elect the visual scattered abroad. It's your brother Kamad. Okay. Coming to you. Okay. AKA Zakar. Okay. And we're going to bring it in from Bloomington, Indiana, right now, man. We're going to start off, man, because, hey, it's going down out here. We're going straight to the scriptures. We're going to bring it out. We're going to talk about the missiles that's coming. Since everybody can't help but do nothing but murk it up. Everybody can't help but do nothing but murk it up all day. Every day. That's that's all they want to do is keep on murking it up. Keep on playing games. Until the Lord comes. We're going to start off in the book. Saint, uh, we start off in the book. Matthews. Chapter 24. And it reads. This is Matthews, chapter 24. Verses 6. And we're going to talk about it. Because right now you got you got Ukraine having a war. Ukraine and Russia is really America and NATO versus Russia. And Russia ain't... Uh, they ain't... Uh, they're not stupid, man. They know that Russia and... They know, they know that uh, Ukraine and, and, and America has Nazi spies. And they represent Nazism, man. If you look back in the uh, history... Uh, America and not uh, uh, Ukraine were the only people who rushed, who uh, voted for Nazism in, in over in Europe, because not too long ago they had a council and they sat down, and there was like 52 countries over there, and only America and Ukraine uh, voted against dismantling Nazism. So they're all for it. Zelensky, he's a Nazi. They're all, they're all actors. They're all Nazis. They're all racist beggars, man. Okay. If you look back into the history, it'll tell you the truth. So we hear wars and rumors of wars, and that war over there in uh, Russia, it's gonna come over here. It's gonna lead to death and destruction over here in America. This is St. Matthew chapter 24. Make sure it's going. Hope you can hear me. St. Matthew chapter 24, verses 6, and it reads, And ye shall hear of wars, and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass. And that's what we're hearing these days. We're hearing of wars and rumors of wars. we at the end of the time. we at the end of the day. Man. You know what I mean? You see Esau eat them. They, they happy and proud on their motorcycles and... And they monster trucks with their confederate flags. But the Lord got something for that ass, man. You know what I mean? The Lord got something for that ass. Let's read it again. St. Matthew chapter 24. Verses 6. And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See then, ye be not troubled. For all these things must first come to pass. For all these things must come to pass but the end is not yet okay so we're hearing of wars in ukraine russia nato all these things are happening right now and they're getting closer and closer and closer to home by these wars uh what's happening is they got inflation happening you got uh different things happening in the earth okay you got different things that are happening in the earth and it's going to keep on happening in the earth man 
You know why? Because it's the will of the Heavenly Father. It's the will of the Heavenly Father to break America down. It's the will of the Heavenly Father to break these countries down. Especially these countries that had a part in our, in our downfall. Especially these countries, all you countries that uh, I think it's Psalms 83. You know, the Lord through the scriptures lists all of our enemies. And we are the Hebrew Israelites of the Holy Body. And we have enemies. You blacks, Latinos, Native American tribes, you got enemies, man. You have enemies. And they hate your guts. And they'll do anything in their power to dispense you. Okay? This is St. Matthew 24. And I'm going to finish it off in 6. And it says, uh, but the end is not yet. He said, but the end is not yet. What's the end? What's this vision that we're seeing? The end. The end of the world. Okay? The end. When the missiles go off. When there's nothing but nuclear radiation. The end. Whenever we go into those bunkers, these rich and wealthy people buying these bunkers, they think they're gonna, they think they're gonna fly off into the sunset. But we're gonna come and get them from their bunkers. That's the end. When our Lord Yahweh Shai comes and sets his foot down on this earth, him and the Archangel Gabriel and Michael, Archangel Michael, that's gonna stand up for his people. The end. That's gonna happen in these days. That's gonna happen here. It says, verse 7, and it reads, For nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be famines and pestilences and earthquakes in diverse places. Famines, that's that's hunger. Right now you got the, uh, the dollar is dwindling the drain, so plenty of people are hungry. Plenty of people are, uh, are disgusted with this world. Plenty of people are uh, going through many trials and tribulations. And they're very hungry. It's going to come to the point where they're going to be so hungry when they're going to start fighting and trying to kill people just to get some food. And they're going to look at you and they're going to be walking down your road. And they're going to be eyeing your homes. And they're going to be looking at who's the weakest link. And they're going to be coming into your place. And they're going to come and get some food. Thus saith the Lord. And you're not going to be able to stop them. No matter how many guns you got. No matter how many bombs you got. These people are going to come through like a flood into your homes. And they're going to take what you have. No matter how much prepping that you did. You can't prep enough. The Lord said, hey, you save up riches for what? What are you saving up for? If you trust in me, I'll protect you. But these people don't trust in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. Who you ignorantly call God and Jesus Christ. Verse 7. And it says, for nation shall rise against nation. And that's what we see in these days and kingdom against kingdom and there shall be famines and pestilences pestilences all types of diseases coronas all types of diseases uh 19 coming 20 coming 21 22 23 24 25 that corona ain't gonna stop thus saith the lord the lord created the corona he wants to kill you people man because you live in great pride you live in great pride you think your shit don't stink walk around all day playing games it says pestilences and earthquakes in diverse places that's all we're seeing throughout the word earthquakes fires famines destruction a whole lot of death going on a whole lot of hunger going on a whole lot of plagues sent forth if I have my uh my apocrypha with me, I'd go into uh, second address because the plagues are sent. And who's going to stop the plagues that's being sent? Thus saith the Lord. The plagues are sent. Verse 8. And it reads, St. Matthew chapter 24, verse 8. And all these are the beginning of sorrows. Verse 9. These are the beginning of sorrows. Let me get into that. Because before this point, before the corona happened, before the pandemic happened, everybody was living in a good case. Everybody was doing what they want, walking the earth, proud, doing what they want, running up and down, proud. But now's the time to listen. Now's the time to think. Now's the time to get right with your power. Now's the time.
time to get right with your God. It ain't the time to be joking and playing our games with you people. The Lord ain't playing games. Okay? Yahweh Bashim and Abshah ain't playing games with you people. The beginning of sorrows. The beginning of sorrows. That means the beginning of these people committing suicide. Jumping from buildings. Jumping from bridges. Drinking themselves to death. Committing suicide because they can't live with the life that they live in. Committing suicide because they, they're so weak in the mind. All they do all day is Facebook and Instagram and TikTok. Which will nothing, nothing that, none of that will help you in the day of the Lord. The day of the Lord is coming upon this earth. Who shall abide it? This is St. Matthew chapter 24, verses 9. I'm going to skip down. Verses 12. And it says, And because iniquity, which is sin, iniquity, sin, a.k.a. sin, and because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. The love of many shall wax cold. Mother against mother. Mother against daughter. Father against son. Households in turmoil. Because the love of many has waxed cold. People are walking down the street ready to fight. I just seen a dude Walking up here, he was bloody. He was a bloody mess. Yelling all the way down the street, causing chaos. The Lord did it, man. And now you got the police over here trying to arrest him. This place is in a bad case. People don't know what's coming for them. They, can, they know something's happening, but they can't put their finger on it. The Lord is here. The Lord is here, and he's not leaving anywhere. He's going to do his will in the earth until you people recognize that he's doing it. St. Matthew chapter 24, verses 12. And because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold, but he that shall endure until the end, the same shall be saved. Endure, that word endure, endure affliction. Endure the chaos. Endure the things that you see with your eyes. Endure the pressure. How are you going to endure? You're not going to be endured unless you repent, unless you give your life to the Lord. Unless you give your life to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, you're not going to endure. You're going to fold. All you people with your nice vehicles, with your nice homes, and your AC, it's all going to go down the drain. The Lord is coming. Yeah, we prophets of doom and we speak destruction because today is the day of destruction and the Lord is coming. If you can't see it, then something's wrong with you. Wars, rumors of wars, signs in the moon. The other day was a total solar uh, blood moon. That was a sign from the Lord. Y'all better get right with the Lord. Today is the day, not tomorrow. You don't even know if your five, the next five minutes of your life, something might fall on you. You might die in the next five minutes, have a heart attack. The Lord can kill you that fast. Today is the day to get right with Him, not tomorrow. St. Matthew chapter 24, verses 14, and it reads, And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world, for a witness unto all nations and then shall the end come so this gospel I, in every single city across the America you see brothers like me on the highways and byways preaching this word of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai but all you do is keep walking by but you hear what we're talking about you know that the Lord is coming but you don't want to be condemned for your sins you don't want to change the things that you're doing so you're going to keep on doing them and the Lord's watching you. Just know that. 
He's watching your every move. He's listening to your thoughts. Even when you don't say them out loud, he can hear your thoughts. He can hear what you think about people, what you think against them. He can kill you for your thoughts. The Lord's doing a lot of killing in this world. People think the devil is some kind of dude with a pitchfork. At the end of the earth, well, the Bible proves wrong. Why does your pastor teach you that the devil is red with a pitchfork and he's at the bottom of the earth in the bottomless pit? No, the devil has to go to our Lord for permission to kill. For permission. The Lord is the killer. Thus saith the Lord. And we can prove it. Let's go to Deuteronomy chapter 32. Deuteronomy chapter 32. Let's prove it. The Lord is killing. So much stuff going on in this earth. You got different diseases. You got hunger, famines. You got all types of things happening and people don't care. People are just living their life. They walk right past the poor. They don't give them no money. They don't acknowledge nothing. They see it with their eyes, but they just keep on living their life. Just keep on going, not praying, not doing nothing for the Lord. This is Deuteronomy chapter 32. And just because it's the Old Testament, hey, it says it in the New Testament too. Verses 39. And it reads, see now that I, even I am he. This is the Lord speaking. Let's get it right. This is the Lord speaking. Let's get it right. See now that I, even I am he. And there is no God with me. I kill and I make alive. The Lord said, I kill. God said, He kills. Yahweh Shimei Shai said, I kill. Okay? And I make alive. I wound and I heal. Neither is there any that can deliver out of mine hand. Neither is there any that can deliver out of mine hand. The Lord's the one that's killing you people, man. Making your mama and daddy have a heart attack. Making mass floods and mass, mass uh, fires going on in the world. Babies and mothers and, 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 and fathers dying, man. The Lord did it. Take it up with him. And he's going to do a lot more killing. Because you people refuse to hearken unto the voice of the Lord. The Lord is the one that's killing. Okay? And let's go to Job. No, let's hit. Let's, uh, yep. Let's go to Job chapter 2, verses 1. And it reads. And I'm going to tell you why the Lord's killing. Why the Lord, he gives Satan permission to do his job. To kill you fucking idiots out here. To take your heads off. Because you refuse to hearken unto the voice of the Lord. This is Job chapter 2 verses 1. And it reads, again... There was a day when the sons of God came to present themselves before the Lord and Satan came also among them to present himself. How the hell is Satan at the bottom of the earth when if Job tells you that Satan went to the heavens with the Lord and asked to present himself before the Lord with the sons of God, man? Right here in the scriptures. Verses 2. And the Lord said unto Satan, From whence comest thou? How is the Lord speaking to Satan if they are enemies? As far as I'm concerned, the Lord and Satan are, the, are on the same team. According to Job chapter 2. Job chapter 2, verses 2. And the Lord said unto Satan, From whence cometh thou? And Satan answered the Lord and said, From going to and fro in the earth and walking up and down in it. From going to and fro in the earth and walking up and down in it. That sound like the cross. That sound like the cross that you could that you crucified so-called Jesus on. That's not his name. His name is Yahweh Shai. The letter J wasn't invented until 1524. 
So how could my Lord's name be Jesus? But that's what the white man got you believing. He got you believing in a lie. But this covering cast over all nations is going to be exposed. And in these last days, he's being exposed for who he is. That's why he's so upset. That's why that thing happened the other day at, in Buffalo, New York. Because they hate your guts. Dude got out of there un unharmed. If it would have been a black man or a Mexican, Latino, would have killed all them 10 people, they would have chopped his ass down with guns. But that little white boy got away and he didn't have a fucking scratch. Look at the world that you com look at the world that you live in. They took him into jail without a scratch on him. The Lord is going to pay you people back for all your bullshit that you've done on the earth. You come over here and take the Americans and then call the Native Americans natives. This is their land. You steal the slaves over there from Africa and bring them over here to build up your country and treat them like shit. The Lord has an eye on America and he's going to destroy you with thermonuclear warheads. Let's go to the book of Joel. Let's get straight into it then. Because I ain't even got all day. We gonna bring it out. I done walked here for like five miles just to get here to this altar right here. To bring this out. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Thus said the Lord, man. America got a date with death. America got a date with death. And y'all better be ready. If you don't repent and get right, if you don't repent and get right with the Lord and repent for your sins, the Lord's going to kill you people, man. Point blank, period. And he wants to. He can't wait. He's going to have fun doing it. Okay, let's go. I think that's right before. It's the book of Joel. And it says, uh, chapter two, it says, war and desolation will precede the second coming. The sun and the moon will be darkened, man. And you're seeing these signs. The Lord said he's going to send signs, man. It says the Lord will pour out his spirit upon all flesh. There will be dreams and visions. Okay. And I just wanted to read. It says, uh, I'm going to read from the beginning. It says, blow ye the trumpet in Zion. Joel chapter 2 verses 1. Blow ye the trumpet in Zion. And who's Zion? The Israelites. So-called blacks, Latinos, and Native, Amer Native American tribes. And Colombians. And Incas. Aztecs. And the Mayans. And uh, Zebulon. The Haitians. The Paraguay. The 12 tribes of Israel. It says... Blow ye the trumpet in Zion and sound an alarm in my holy mountain. And when alarm goes off, what do people do? They get up and they they, they do what they got to do to, you know, as soon as the alarm starts going off, you got to do what you got to do. But you, you people out here, if alarm goes off, you put the cover back on, you put it on snooze all the time. Well, the Lord's coming, man. Okay. This is the alarm that you can't put on snooze. You put this alarm on snooze too many times, the Lord gonna blow your ass up. Thus say if the Holy Scriptures. Joel chapter one, chapter two, verses one. Blow ye the trumpet in Zion and sound an alarm in my holy mountain. Let all the inhabitants of the land tremble for the day of the Lord cometh, for it is nigh at hand. For the day of the Lord cometh, for it is nigh at hand. 
for the day of the Lord coming, for it is nigh at hand. Okay? Verses 2. A day of darkness and gloominess, a day of clouds and thick darkness. Okay? A day of mourning. See, this is not going to be no ordinary day. You think 9-11 was something. This is going to be a thousand times 9-11. You think the Holocaust was something. This is going to be a thousand times the Holocaust. Jacob's trouble is coming. This is going to be a million times the Holocaust, man. A million times. Bombs going off. Famines. Pestilence. Little kids dying. People dying everywhere, man. The day of the Lord is near. Joel chapter 2, verses 2, and it reads, A day of darkness and of gloominess, a day of clouds and of thick darkness. As the morning spread upon the mountains, a great people and a strong, there have not been ever light, neither shall there ever be after it, even to the years of many generations. Verse 3, a fire devours before them. Okay? And we talking about the missiles. Because those missiles is coming. You think that war in Ukraine is going to just be in Ukraine? No, it's going to spread. Just like a fire that spreads on the stubble. It's going to come here to America. It's going to come here to America. And you people ain't ready for it. It says, verses 4. It says, the appearance of them is like the appearance of horses. We talking about the missiles. And as horsemen, so, thou, so shall they run. Like the noise of chariots on the top of mountains, shall they leap. Like the noise of a flame of a fire that devoureth the stubble. As a strong people set in battle array. The missiles are coming, man. Verses 6. Before their face, the people shall be pained. All faces shall gather blackness. All faces. Why, why would the faces gather blackness? It don't matter if you black, white. All your faces are going to gather blackness because when the missiles hit, the, the, the debris that comes up from the earth and everything into the clouds, all faces are going to gather blackness. This is what the Bible speaks about. This is what the scriptures are speaking. All faces are going to gather blackness. Man, y'all better listen. The missiles ain't just for Ukraine. They coming over here to America. America ain't the big bad wolf of the world no more. Okay? People got beef. Okay? The hell, man. This nigga. Anyway. It says, verses 5. Like the noise of chariots on top of the mountain, they shall leap. And the noise of the flame of the fire that devoured the stubble, as a strong people set in battle array. Verse 6, before their faces shall be much pain, all faces shall gather blackness. They shall run like mighty men, they shall climb the wall like men of war, and they shall march every one on his way. Okay, they're going to march like men of war. These missiles, when they come, they ain't going to break their rank. Okay? It says, and they shall not break their ranks. Verse 8. Neither shall one thrust another because they're going to have the spirit of the Lord in them, man. We just read in Deuteronomy 32 and 39. The Lord kills, man. The Lord puts the spirits in everything. The Lord creates these spirits of vengeance, man. What's that? Spirits of vengeance created uh, for the Lord. That's Ephesians 6 and 12. The spirits of vengeance, man, that are created by the Lord. That's why these things are happening in the earth, man. The Lord gives the devil permission. Go do this for me. Go take that out. Go handle this. It don't matter what it is. The devil never disrespects the Lord, man. He stays in his place. He does exactly what Yahweh Bashim Yahweh tells him to do, man. He does exactly what the Lord tells him to do. So if a nigga die, nigga get shot up, hundred motherfucking kids die, the Lord did it, man. You take it up with the Lord. So you people better be, you better be afraid of the Lord, man. You better be afraid. It says, Joel chapter 2. It says, verse 9. They shall run to and fro in the city. They shall run upon the wall. They shall climb up the houses. They shall enter in at the windows like a thief. They gonna even enter your windows, man. 
Y'all ain't about to get away from this death and destruction. You ain't gonna get away from it. A whole lot of death is coming to you people because you live in great pride. You think your shit don't stink. You walk around earth all day bullshit, playing games. But the Lord got something for that ass. He got missiles for that ass. And it ain't just for Ukraine. Verses eight, neither shall one thrust another. They shall walk every one in his path. And when they fall upon the sword, they shall not be wounded. Verse nine, they shall run to and fro in the city. They shall run up the wall. They shall climb up the houses. They shall enter into the windows like a thief. The earth shall quake before them and the heavens shall tremble. The sun and the moon shall be dark and the stars shall withdraw their shining. The missiles is coming. You people think that fucking life is a joke. Your next five minutes ain't promised. Your next five days ain't promised. Your next five months ain't promised. What's promised is what's written in the scriptures. And what's written in the scripture says the missiles are coming to bombard America. This dude trying to play some music. Got them spirits on them, man. You see where the spirits come out when the, you know, the, the, the testimony of the Lord coming out, man. But them, they coming. And you ain't gonna stop it no matter what you try. You see? Let's read about the missiles. Let's read about the missiles. Joel chapter 2, verse 11. And it reads, And the Lord, Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, Shai, shall utter his voice before his army. Who is his army? Those missiles is his army. Everybody who's a, America's enemies, they got missiles pointed at this place. Russia, China, North Korea. They're already pointed. All they got to do is go off. While you're living it up in your mirth, keep on living. Because one day, real soon, something's going to happen. And you're going to wish that you listen to the voice of the Lord. Joel chapter 2, verse 11. And the Lord shall utter his voice before his army. For his camp is very great, for he is strong that executeth his word. For he is strong that executeth his word. And what is the Lord's word? These scriptures, what we just read, the missiles are gonna bombard, man. They're gonna, they're gonna take, they're gonna take aim and they're not gonna miss their targets. They're gonna hit everything. You know why? Because the Lord is gonna be in the missiles, man. Just like we read in Deuteronomy chapter 30. Uh, 39 verse or 32 verse 39 okay it says it says for he is strong to execute of his word for the day of the